I'm sure there were a few sore heads around Australia this morning. It is, after all, the festive season, a time for a little indulgence. Eating and drinking at Christmas may be a killer for the waistline, but it's the hangover which may prove fatal. As Lisa Goddard reports, new research shows getting behind the wheel hungover, even if your blood alcohol level is back to zero, can be as deadly as being drunk. Drink drive and you're a bloody idiot. Get behind the wheel hungover and you're no better. They found that the hangover condition was as though you were driving over the limit on alcohol. At this time of year, police are out in force in the early morning to catch drivers over the limit from the night before. In half an hour here, three drivers were caught. But new research shows if you're hungover, it's the same as driving drunk. And here's why. So if you think you're right to drive the next morning, then think again. These glasses simulate what it's like to be just over the legal limit. So let's see how hard it is to walk a straight line. They really, really throw you up off balance. So let's find out just how deadly driving with a killer hangover can be. To test the research, we went to a driver safety test course. Without goggles impairing our senses, the obstacle course was easy. But with goggles to simulate what it's like to be hungover, it was a very different story. <laughs> I did a shocking job. Well, it's the morning after the night before and look at the damage you've caused. I mean, if they're children or power poles or parked cars, we've killed two. What we've found is that uh, even though people may have no alcohol left in their blood, their actual driving performance is still impaired. UK researcher, Associate Professor Chris Olford put drivers through similar testing. Unlike me, his participants had had a big night before. They did have hangover symptoms, so they had the headaches and the, you know, they rated their concentration as being worse and the fatigue and the thirst and, and the usual things that we see with hangovers. You feel sluggish and you are. Researchers found your response time is at least 20% slower than usual. You'd find things were slowed down by, say, possibly a couple of seconds or something, which could be quite a, a big jump if you're actually uh, in a sudden situation where you've got to make a quick response, you know, at speed. So let's put it into perspective. If you're an average man and you're hungover, your driving could be just as impaired as if you'd had these four beers in two hours. We tested the research. Four beers in two hours put our researcher over the limit, as you'd expect. 0.061 over the legal limit, shouldn't be driving. And you can see why. Joel Nilsson of Safe Drive Training. From a driving point of view, it's some of those higher order driving skills are starting to suffer. Depth, perception, speed, you know, and, uh, analyzing speed, um, scanning, you start to end up with tunnel vision. So for the same reasons we shouldn't drink drive, we shouldn't get behind the wheel hungover. So the beauty of the goggles is you can take them off, but when we've got the real beer goggles on, we don't know we're wearing them, so we don't understand the dangers. So as we recover from Christmas celebrations and head into New Year party mode, it's more than a timely warning. A quarter of all road fatalities in Australia involve drink driving. The frightening truth is we don't know how many more are the result of hangovers. And please be extra careful on the roads this festive season.